Hey what's going on Europe this is Wiken Gaming bringing to you Skylar and Plux Adventure on the Clover Island review Skylar and Plux is a 3D platform game This game is developed by Right Nice Games based in Sweden They have tried to capture the essence of platforming duos like Ukulele Ratchet and Clank For the most part Skylar and Plux Adventure on the Clover Island achieves this across its beautifully varied environment Skylar and Plux journey through this island to stop maniacal CRT a computer intent of colonizing the world on which Clover Island is based This game starts with Skylar a cat like humanoid strapped to a table in CRT's lab while weapon modifications hardwire into her body she soon manages to escape the clover island where she meets plux the most punny and puny of companions who pledges to help skylar find crt I felt that Skylar and Plux gameplay is smooth and Skylar moves are swift. Jumping is the key in this game. Prepare to jump a lot. There are frame rate issues, but it's not going to ruin your gameplay at all. The adventure starts in earnest by saving the elder of the island from being captured, who then tasks you with collecting 3 fuses scattered across 3 regions: Clover Mountains, Forlorn Desert, and Seartis Citadel. She also asks you to free her loas from cages scattered across Clover Island and doing this well later will increase skylar's health thankfully the game is a long winded collectathon which made for more pleasant experience though the diverse environments of the island the game's environments are actually enticingly gorgeous with a snowy mountainous area on clover mountains that exists above the tropical paradise forlorn desert by contrast could have been a little more detailed though it does not considerably better as you progress through it finally cirtis citadel is a Essentially, the typical final area of most platformers, where you storm the castle and save the world. Clover Island offers a combination of ball puzzles, which could involve reversing time or using a magnetic field to move objects around. These are cleverly done, but provide only a moderate level of difficulty to complete. It still adds an unexpected, by very welcome element beyond platforming that serves as a nice break from punching enemies and platforming. The sound complements each environment very well, but there. There is more technical issue at play with some of the audio. I often found the music played over character dialogue where ducking the music's volume beneath or increasing dialogue audio at this points would be beneficial to trying to get the most out of the simplistic story. The game consistently pushes you to keep moving, never really letting you spend too much time in an area unless you want to be there. A fast travel option at each checkpoint is nice. The platforming segments were generally fun throughout the whole game, reminiscent of Jack and Dexter in that regard. While the gadgets feel more inspired by Ratchet and Clank, this game works fine, but there was obviously room for originality here and sadly tried and tested gadgets like grappling beam and jetpack took priority. Similarly, Plux has nothing to do in the game besides talking crap. He also just happens to be a bird, so why couldn't he help Skylar fly or glide across short distances? For instance, why aren't there short gameplay sections with Plux? The game has such great potential to grow into something bigger with a little more to develop the characters and abilities. I feel what's good in this game is great platforming sections, a selection of beautifully designed environments, easy progression, a very small but rewarding experience, a very small but rewarding experience. I feel what's bad in this game is lack of originality for powers and abilities. Plux has no gameplay at all. There are small technical issues where frame rate are dropping during cutscenes. Skylar and Plux does an exceptional job at giving us beautifully 3D platformer with truly fun platforming sections, delightful puzzling elements and one-liners that had mean splits. The problem with the game is that it needs a bit more polish. While taking good inspiration from games like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, it has taken on board some pre-used traits that have become too much of a signature to those games. I feel more work on Skylar's character design would be a good start to reaching its own identity going further this could be a start of a beautiful new platform game franchise my verdict for skylar and plux adventure on the clover island is 7 out of 10 i truly adore this game and i believe it has a huge potential to grow as a franchise this summarizes my review for skylar and plux adventure on the clover island i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your friends this will help my channel grow if you have any thoughts you can share them in the comment section please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell this is wiken gaming signing off